If you're looking to set up service with Surety DIY and need to check your cellular module number but do not have installer code access to the panel, you can still find that cellular module number by opening up the panel and taking a look on the module itself. For this, all you'll need is a small Phillips head screwdriver. Begin by removing the set screw at the top of the panel, holding it to the back plate. When you're done, pull the back plate off. With the panel lying flat on the surface, you'll see the communications module in the upper left-hand corner. If the communications module in your alarm panel is 3G and it's a Verizon module, you'll see the sticker located between the two set screws on the board. The number you're looking for is the one labeled ADC. If there is no large visible sticker and instead you see the SIM card between the two set screws, this just means the sticker is on the underside of the module. Make sure the panel is completely powered down, carefully remove the two small set screws, and make sure not to lose these inside the panel. Pull up on the outside edge of the communications module to free its terminal pins, and lift it off the board. Here we have a 3G AT&T model, and the number you're looking for is the IMEI number. Once you've found that serial number for your Alarm.com module, you can enter it into the Module Check tool on SuretyDIY.com to find out if the existing module is unregistered and can be monitored as it is. This has been Jason with Surety DIY. Thanks for watching.